Vici, but I am favoring Vici a little bit. I, I just don't know if they have what it takes to, as the game progresses, deal with this Phantom Assassin, which can get out of control if the lane goes pretty well. Yeah. Do you see the lane going that well? I, I think the DP... I, I, I think this... I was looking for a ranged hero to be played with Marcy against Phantom Assassin, right? I was searching, like, I'm thinking Viper, I'm thinking maybe Razor, I don't know, these kind of heroes. I was searching so much that I forgot that they had an offlane DP already. That's strange. That can be played there, right? And then you make your life easier. You just pick a mid laner, either the Storm, the Kunkka, whatever. Um... I, I think PA shouldn't dominate the lane that hard. Well, so mm -hmm. we'll see. We'll see how much Undying will do there because he's the X factor. It's not about the course, it's about really the supports there. Player who gets the longest kill streak, ZC. First player to get 15 denies. I'm going to go uh, with. Uh, I said ZC. ZC? I put BAB for I'm gonna the longest kill streak because I know I know what that Dawnbreaker can do late game. Mm, that's true. That's true. But still, though, if Storm is not dying, they don't have a ton of catch. Do they have to catch for the Quap? They don't as well. Hmm. Hmm. Might go with the Quap. XM, my boy, don't fail me. <laughs> Team with the most runes picked up by minute ten. Yeah, this is. Vici for me as well. Rampage. Who is who's is that? That's amazing. I love it. That's such a good line. Uh, what'd you say? Most kill streak. You said XM. Don't copy my homework. Do you? Right, I'm. I'm staying with BAB. I close the tab. Yeah, do your own thing, man. Stop copying me. Don't copy my homework. You can copy my homework, just don't, you know. Make some changes. At least one change, so that the teacher doesn't say anything. Have you ever done that? Did the teacher ever say anything to you? It took all the time. <laughs> That's the only <laughs> thing I did. You understand that I'm a gamer, right? Like, I, I don't have time to, to do homework. What are you talking about? There used to be times where, like, I'd get into school, we'd we'd wake up so early, class. It was like 5:45 in the morning. The bus would pick me up at, at like 6:35. We'd get to school at seven or something. I don't know why the bus system was like this, but first class wasn't until like 8:15. And uh, you know, from that seven to 8:15, I played video games all night. The night before, I'd be doing homework. Nice. Waking up, knocking out some answers. I'd be sleeping it's, at that time. Though. It's gonna be all right. All right. I thought he was gonna get chased a little bit more. He's he's playing on the edge though. These runes are gonna be a big deal because YBB's got two of them. Let me get three of them. No. <laughs> so runes are even for our predictions in game. I'm just thinking like Quap. It's easier for her to get to the runes than for the storm early on. But yeah. Anything is possible. It, it, again, it's one of those things that comes down to supports, which supports are easier to rotate. We'll see. And just swipe your ring. Exactly. It, my university sure homework, by the way, was literally, you couldn't, like my math homework, you couldn't do it alone. It was like our whole university, we had two guys doing it. And then everyone else just copied, so. <laughs> uh, yeah, you get, you get answers from uh, the people who are smarter than me. Yeah, exactly. That's what I would do. Exactly. That, that's what Dota is about as well. Like when you're playing, I mean, most of these guys they just copy the meta, right? And that's it, and they try to figure it out. You copy it, and then you try to bring in a little bit of your own flair. It doesn't make it bad. It's just that someone else came up with an answer before you. Why would you have to go through all the work again? The answer's already been, uh, been found. found out. Exactly. Perfect. These lanes, and there's a little bit of back and forth early on with Frisk having Aether Shock. 
obviously that high base damage and YBB. Yeah, they they've been having coordinator issues, so it's not too surprising that they have uh, another pause going on. But I'm, I'm wondering if, as time goes by, they they're going to be dealing with less and less of that the internet or whatever the coordinator kind of stables out. Hopefully. That's all I can say, hopefully. Back in my oh, day, back in my day, we had DDoS. <laughs> Those <laughs> were the f fun times. You know, like we all used, what was it? Like we, uh, it, it, it happened, I don't know, maybe seven, eight years ago, bottom lane. The yeah, first, first blood. blood coming out for BAB. Yeah. So we we, the, the, we didn't have Discord or anything, and the only thing we used for communication was either Teamspeak or Skype. Uh, but the problem was, like, one of those two things, or both of them, would... Uh, it wasn't that hard to get your IP from it or some shit like that, right? So, so it was... That was the reason why we were all getting DDoSed, more or less. It was so simple to find all the info that's necessary to, to just break your internet apart. Did you ever uh, use um, Raid Call? Uh, no. I, I remember maybe using it during the Warcraft three times a little bit, but that's it. We did have to like set up at some point. We had to uh, all the pro teams. We we had to set up like Amazon Web Services and link our Skype over that, so that it's not leaking our our true data, so that we're safe like that. It, it was. Let's just say it was a mess. We had some <laughs> messy times. Yeah. I don't want to be giving away the IP. That's for sure. I, I'm pretty certain uh, those days are long past, but every now and then some crazy thing happens. Right now we just have problems with internet and stuff more than anything, right? Sometimes, yeah, yeah. I think so. Yang Gang on top lane really putting in the work. Doing this thing with the decay. A classic. Down in the dispose and surprisingly doing a significant amount of damage there. You saw that, right? Like Erika went from full HP to like 40%. Yeah, that was a, a lot of damage coming in. I wasn't expecting it to be so much. Yeah, because they didn't even use anything. What they used? Ooh, they used again? rebound and dispose. Look, they might It's just a second there. time. Tombstone, do they get the chance to turn this? Not looking like it's gonna be terrible for Vici because they get a kill on a beyond. Thought the tombstone was going down pretty quickly, but they committed and they lose beyond over uh over the Marcy. Classic Yang Gang play right there. He had 12 decay strength uh, stolen, then another stack, and like it, it's it was a nice go on the PA, but the problem is you already lost so much strength. The PA had fairy fire and sticks. That's something when you when you're playing the, these spammy lanes, you have to take into account. And the, you got to be ready for potentially the the wands and sticks of it all. The wands and sticks of it all. Yeah, exactly. Meanwhile, on bot lane, you have zero sticks because you don't need them. These heroes aren't necessarily the most spammy ones. You can get those a bit later. Mm -hmm. Life Stealer has one, but that's it. You do you think, buy a uh... stick? Do you, do you buy a stick? Tell, tell me honestly, B Cop. Do you buy sticks? It depends on the lane. I'm usually playing the four, though. You and... should always have a stick, man. Sticks I, I think save about lives. It. Yeah. It, it depends on my lane. If I want to get that first item quicker, then. Uh, oh. I don't want to waste my money on my stick. Oh, the stick will help you get there. It's like an investment. Think of it that way. You should always buy a stick. It's like... I never really coached a lot, but when I coached a little bit, that's one of the first things that bothered me. People sub 5k, 6k even, they just don't buy sticks. Oh, well, I totally buy a stick then. 
Yeah, of course you do. <laughs> That's a better answer now. I don't know if this dive on top lane is that great. Like, you're diving and undying. He has still level 1 tombstone, but 20 strength stolen. If you're not too careful, they'll they'll just go for you. Or I, I would almost expect it, the, with the more time they spend there, they could have a rotation from another support. Like, Shadow Shaman's not exactly the worst uh, support to TP up there and get a shackle or something like that. The only Instead, he's going to do that bottom. Mm -hmm. And just an easy kill on SJ. Like, that... Stepping up just feels like such a mistake uh, against this duo, uh, duo lineup down bottom. The question is, like, does he need to rotate towards top? Perhaps mid lane is a kill. I get that storm before he hits six. That's what he's doing right now. You have Quap, right? But, uh, the problem is Snap will TP to refill the bottle. I was also thinking... Uh, potentially risk there, like he doesn't have the hex. But sometimes you see like that casual level where you're able to hex and then shackle. Mm -hmm. Pre he's six, I think you could just shackle on shadow on a uh, storm. But once he's got that ball lightning, I think you you need that hex to catch him. Yeah, for sure. That's why he went there a bit earlier, right? Like that's why he's. Uh... Uh, that's why he's here pre six. That's usually what. Uh, that's usually also what you do when you're playing into a storm. You try to get that one kill at least, slow him down before six. Top lane, he's steeping in. Yeah, he wants to go, and they're gonna look for beyond the decay. He's up to twenty again. Like Marcy's trying to make something happen, but Ether Shock now a shackle. It, it should be both these heroes dying. Why BB? They have not gotten a kill yet, and it's five nothing Vici. Very nicely done by Frisk. Mid lane XM. Did get a bit low, but look, he has Magic Wand, Sticks, Raindrop. Like, this isn't a kill. If you go on him, most likely than not, you're the, you're the one dying. If you're the Storm, that is. Um, but yeah, why was he able to go top? He's able to go top because Dawnbreaker is a ridiculous hero and the lane has been controlled. Mid lane. Yeah, they, they want Queen of Pain. They're going to come in with the Solar Guardian, and XM actually got out of the circle, but it didn't matter. They'll throw a dagger and one more right click after a Sonic Wave to get ZC. I think ZC might have thought he was safe, but got hit by the Starbreaker and the Sonic Wave. What did we say just a second ago? If they go on Queen of Pain, most likely they are the ones dying, right? And... I don't know if you even thought that that was going to be with the addition of Solar Guardian, though. But it did come true just, what, 20 seconds after you said it? Look, look. Let's, go let's not go into the details about uh, Star Solar Guardian and whatnot. I definitely forgot this hero even had global potential, but... Um, yeah, going on co-op top lane, they're going to get the snap, it looks like. They're just Louis racking up the kills. Let the fun begin. That's hot. I feel where Erica is in terms of net worth, as well as the Dawnbreaker too. Like, how many times have we just seen Dawnbreaker's lanes go so well, where they're top of the net worth and doing uh, quite a bit early on? Uh, probably always. Like whenever she's played, it's like. Very rarely that uh, the Dawn doesn't do well, right? Like, Zero just owns uh, the laning stage, the post laning stage, the mid game. It also owns the late game. Yeah. It's a, str it's a strong time, mommy. I, I, I like her a lot. Be here is up here top for both teams. Does, does any hero inspire you? Like, I get inspired by a Dawnbreaker. I go to the gym, I do like 15 sets of squats. Um, no, I haven't really been inspired yet by a hero. Mine. Hey, maybe I'll take a closer look. Try to get inspired. Riskies are around, like, they are definitely thinking if Beyond moves up a little bit too far, they just hex Shackle. Even BAB by himself, bottom, and finally they'll get the, the TP of the Shadow Shaman back. It's basically like uh, BAB, he had Solar Guardian, right? So there was no need Ooh, to play Summer? with him. Summer is He's in here. trouble. Yeah, Hex, Shackle, Celestial Hammer, and a Starbreaker for his troubles, and 
And they get another kill. He was sitting there a little bit low. He's level six, obviously, or well, has his ulti from six, and they never gave him the opportunity to do anything with that infest. Yang, top. Top Look lane, Yang. He's going to be the first death for Vici. Eat one, not the Brazil we were looking for. Close again, enough, though. Like, Frisk close is, enough. is close. I was wrong with my runes. Why did he pick up eight? So is I. Vortex, Sword Guardian, but ooh, the Shackle gets taken away thanks to this Marcy. Marcy survives as the Infest is on him. They've got the Fire Snap Cookie and they get the kill on XM. Four nice. heroes. But you need to be careful if you line up too close. They're going to use these Celestial Hammers and these Starbreakers to get these kills. They've got themselves to BAB on a mega kill streak. They'll look over now at Summer again, and they can't keep Summer safe. So they will lose the life stealer and lose three on the side of, of YBB. I saw their icon was still Dandelion. I almost called him that. What happened, man? This is an insane rotation from both of these teams. Like, uh, they get I everyone. from YBB. Yeah, like t 10 minutes in, we had full 10 heroes on the mid lane. I love it. This is some Balkan Dota. This isn't Chinese Dota right there happening. <laughs> I'm loving it. Uh, the Queen of Pain did have haste. Like, she didn't use the haste. It's one of the reasons why she got picked off so easily. Obviously, Blink was on cooldown, but perhaps with that haste. Easier bot lane, Shadow Shaman. Mm, yeah. They're starting to line up some kills here. I feel like as long as you kill the Shadow Shaman first, uh, your fights are I'm not guaranteed to succeed, but. It's like the percentage that you're going to win is much higher. You're going to have the BKB on BAB. What's he going for? Just the BKB. DP is doing a vessel. The casual vessel. Probably BKB Witchblade build, I, I, I suppose, for that profit. Nothing that out of the ordinary. Erika going for Battle Fury. Doomstone down, four heroes here. Yang, Soul Rip, Sonic Wave surviving. Sword Guardian, that's gonna drop down. Marcy in some trouble, but they take out Yang and they lose 340. SJ is on the high ground and XM should be able to spot him and they'll get a fourth. Ichi cleaning up again, now 15 to four. Four kills, just for that and dying. This is like, this is a movie I've seen so many times before. It's like, there's this poor little undying walking around with 800 HP, maybe a thousand. You go on him, he decays, he uses ulti, he gets 40% more strength, he pops the tombstone, soul rips himself. It's like, suddenly you, he has 2k, you still haven't finished him off. All of his teammates are around and you're dying. Solar Guardian obviously helping him. And by the way, this all happened bottom tower is under attack. even with the Spirit Siphon, right? Being on top of uh, right. Undying and Ex really hurting Serpent him. Wards and Starbreaker. This is an easy kill on a summer. They're breaking them. It really has just been Vici all over the map. They're just breaking them, truly. There is... Uh, an ulti on the mid lane, so Beyond will use his spirits to help take down the tier 1 tower. Top lane. Risk. Yeah, falling in. Vortex, a lot of right-click damage coming through with the Hex. He might survive this, but not likely. He'll throw out a Shackle, Crypt Swarm there for the kill. I love how every single time there's a move happening on Shadow Shaman, BAB is like, no. <laughs> You have that, to. They're, they're drawing multiple heroes over, like yeah. he, Shadow Shaman himself. He's valuable. I yeah. would say that Fade, he's done such a good job in this game that he's he has four kills. Like, if they want to kill him, they should commit. Because yeah. if you commit only the problem is if you commit only the storm, who's telling you there's no Dawnbreaker around? Like, if you get, if he gets hexed, he dies, right? So. It's better safe than sorry. 
Got the BKB on BAB. Not a lot of mana here for ZC. And had the Dawnbreaker maybe shown himself a little bit later that the Storm might have stayed. Hex. Instead, they've got the Hex. They have the Shackle. They'll go for this Snapfire, SJ. Not long for this world. And XM on a killing spree. Yeah, they're cutting off the Storm Spirit, but he has Kaya sticks. Should be fine. They're controlling the map completely. That's yeah. uh, that's also a problem. Like this Shadow Shaman just completed his Etherlands. He has Tumblr Stoy. It's not a blink, but he can reach you easily. Yang bot lane. Unleash Yang and he'll ulti. And now they've got the Solar Guardian again. It's like you've gone for this Undying. And by the time you get them, uh, get the Undying, everybody's able to react. So they'll take the Marcy, they use the Sonic Wave. Coming over is the Shadow Shaman with the Serpent Wards locking in the Death Prophet who is infested. Frisk is the target of Summer's damage, but there's not enough of it yet. Ball Lightning Vortex, that will help them get this kill on the Shadow Shaman. They've lost the Death Prophet and they might just lose themselves this Life Stealer too. He's already infested and he can't do it again. So they're able to chase and Erica's got that kill and a double. And they're still looking over mid. Aziz, he has too much mana. They will not be able to kill him. Um, I don't think that they can pressure the mid tier one tower as well. Maybe just shove in the wave and that's it. Um, but you could see the issue. The same thing is happening. They're going on and dying. He pops the tombstone. Like you said, the case, soul rips, his teammates. There was a tier one on the right side. Queen of Pain was connecting from the left anyway. Um, the, they had the right idea afterwards. They went for the Shadow Shaman, but they didn't kill him fast enough. He was he managed to shackle the Life Stealer Yang again. Same thing, yeah. same place, but no Solar Guard. Though. That's the difference. Yeah, no jumps this time. No help from the rest of the team, so he'll just die. Yeah, I think without the Solar, uh, you don't go. You just wait for a better play, right? Anyways. Once you get the Solar Guardian, you, you will also have the BKB of cooldown on Dawn, so... Patience. And yeah, they don't need to be forced to make these moves. And now they've got the Shard, so BAB is going to feel much stronger. Having that magic immunity. Mm -hmm. Next and item, probably a too. Blink, right? Yeah, Blink afterwards. Yeah. It's when the hero really starts to become ridiculous. We'll get greedy and go Deso after. Seen that a couple times. That damage really just starts to get out of control. Phantom Assassin now has the Battle Fury, had gone Orb of Corrosion, so it's not the quick Battle Fury that... Or actually went Treads Orb of Corrosion into the Battle Fury yep. and still got it at a decent timing within, like, that 16-minute mark. Well, look, it, it's a bit delayed considering that she's 407. At the same time, perhaps Erika is 407 because he went for uh, Power Treads and, and the Corrosion. Um, I feel like he is one of those players that usually does it. Like he, he usually gets the corrosion after threads. It to each his own. Like some players would disagree. Some tier, some uh, position one players would say that it's not worth it anymore. It just delays you way too much. But uh, it definitely worked out for him this game, right? See you there. Easy BKB procked, yeah. Yeah, just the ball in the end. ZC didn't even need to do anything more. Interesting that he popped his BKB as well when he has Starbreaker and the Tier 2 Hammer. Tower, yeah. Marcy. X, there's a double damage on XM. Cookie or not, feels like you're just dead. And XM now dominating. They and they're going to look for the plus one. They've got the Orchid on the Death Prophet, but only one chasing, not more. Middle tower is under the Dead Prophet also going for BKB, but it's not yet completed. You don't have Marcy for 10. You might be able Still to just take of... down the tier 1. Still a lot of gold away. Umbor's toy into the shackle with the Serpent Wards, and they're going to get two. Beyond and SJ both drop to XM, who's now unstoppable. That was a good move there by Frist to just Humbler's toy in, close the gap, and get these kills. That was clinical as well, right? <laughs> Just, uh, you plant a ward. 
it's always gonna happen. Like if you try to poke your head out the ward, like you, you are getting hexed. It's a Shadow Shaman team after all. That's like Shadow Shaman 101 gameplay. You plant the ward, you wait for it to be the ward that if your teammates are around, you instantly uh, catch the target on dying. Again, on the same spot. And they're, he, they're he, searching he for more. Here. Yeah, they're searching for more though. Infest, smoke. Get that ward in the river. It's all Yang. There's a ward as well flying to them. And looking for a plus one frisk. No way to get out. He could shackle duty once, but that's not going to save him from the right click damage coming in from the life stealer. These kills are all well and great, and I feel like you get what you get, but they're still down about 10,000 net worth, and Vici's cores are not, their net worth is continuing to skyrocket. Yeah, the hero that you would really like to kill is Erika, right? Like, you'd really like to slow him down, kill him before uh, Dezo BKB. Actually, he's going yeah, the for cores. Dezo, they only but... have only have one kill between the three cores. Yeah. Are you a uh, Battle Fury Desolator enjoyer? Because it's like, I know that they're in a driving spot. They're in a good place. But I feel like this Dezo actually gives YBB an opportunity. If, they kill the PA and yeah. shut him down. Exactly, because he doesn't have a BKB, so maybe there's a chance now. There's also a chance that Erika just rolls out of control, goes rush right now because they have Dezo. Yeah, I, I think with Serpent Wards and Dezo, it gives them that opportunity to get an Aegis. And it, I, I think the, the crucial moments, like you were saying, was like the Dezo pre-Aegis, but Ichi made the right move and went for it immediately. So now it feels like the BKB skip or like delay. Now it's amazing. It no, feels very yeah. worth it, yeah. Now it's great. All right, Ball Lightning in with the Infest. Sonic Wave oh pushes three God. back. Look at the damage. Oh. ZC as well as the Marcy just gone. Tombstone right click, Summer gone. Wow, they, they just blew him up. I, I mean, Vici put it in perfectly. That was a great Sonic Wave pushing three heroes back that just wanted to go in onto the Dawnbreaker. Very ambitious from YVB, and it is not going to pan out at all. It's actually going to be a full team wipe, too. Vici just have their number that's for sure they had their number but it's also uh, ybb smoking up a bit too late going in for that fight uh in the pit once the aegis has been already claimed and also initiating on dawnbreaker it's i guess like initiating on dawnbreaker it's not that bad when you have burst but their team doesn't have burst like it it takes them a while to kill a target that's where Sonic Wave pushes them away. That's where uh, you get the chance to soul rip, to use everything pretty much of that BKB on Dawnbreaker. They're still going. Cookie, but Marcy not surviving. Yeah, this is this is slowly falling apart. So Erica not even going for the BKB, going Manta next. <laughs> I guess you can shake off the silence and whatnot. It's okay. They're Anything in such a... BKB. Yeah, I would say that BKB is the standard, right? But BKB also got nerfed a bit and they're in a, such a comfortable position. Like, look, look at the difference between PA and Lifestealer. Like, Lifestealer has, what, Halberd and Armlet? building an mkb but i don't yeah, even know if that's, that's going to be in time that's very far away yeah they have wards on bottom they can use them you just don't have creeps to protect them there's a tier two on mid there's a tier one on top perhaps that's the safer play right just go for that instead right radiance middle tower yeah, is under I, I agree with that oh serpent words yeah tier two over mid Now this should deal a lot of damage. They they can't really fight into the Serpent Wards. There's not really a moment where if you're YBB, you feel confident in jumping in. Even your best initiations have been stymied. They are infested, though. 
They are infested and every second that passes that he's inside that storm, he's not farming, so... Maybe when you infest someone, you should split the gold 50-50, you know, brotherly love. Maybe, maybe big brotherly love, so 30-70, you know, he takes 70, they, you get 30. I don't know if they could do that. The, the grief potential is there to just infest someone you hate to lower the gold they're getting. <laughs> nice. Wait, is, is there a problem that that's my first thought? Probably. Hex comes out, right clicks in. Phantom Assassin trying to get a kill onto the Storm Spirit, but has the mana and the survivability to get out of this one. They pop the mech to have Shadow Shaman going down first. So Frisk is out of the fight. They land a silence on a three of these heroes, but it's not going to keep Summer alive. XM on a monster kill streak, and Vici just don't stop coming. Yeah, ZC, he zipped so far, I feel like he wanted to get out of the game. Sadly, the ball lightning does not allow you to do that yet. You still have to stay in the same match, play it out. While he was in the river, his life stealer was dying, so... Don't tell me that that life stealer doesn't deserve at least 30%, considering where Storm put him in. <laughs> yeah. He deserves the 30%. And, uh, you know what I was thinking? You know, I, I give you a Lacoste and Black really bad AGS ideas uh -huh. uh, periodically. Hear me out. Okay. Ags on Storm uh -huh. gives you Pac-Man passive, where you can ball lightning off the right side of the map, show up on the left side <laughs> of the map, where if you go off on the left side of the map, you can come back on the right side of the map, like Pac-Man rules. Why, why, don't we, show up in the why don't we do that for every hero in the river? Like, let the ri river be this path that allows you to go from left to right and right to left. <laughs> it could be. I wouldn't mind it as uh, Marcy... Who's life here? And now it actually puts XM on the longest kill streak. Oh, you, I, was, I was right for so see, long with BAB. You see where the river kind of goes under the uh, under the bridge next to the tier one yeah, tower, yeah. tower, and then has a small yeah right there on the right. There's this small piece of water. If you go inside there, you show up on the other side. Nice. This is not going to be enough with the Solar Guardian. They committed just to save Frisk. Jay, no, not getting out. Starbreaker is there, and BAB will get the kill. He's now godlike. Damn it! Uh, you know what I hate more about? I'm losing, right? When it comes to the longest kill streak. Yeah. Actually, I'm not. It's XM now. Never mind. It's all good. XM and BAB. Yeah. Yeah, it's all good. If it counts. Yeah. So basically, I wanted to say that I, I hate more, more than I anything. I hate losing to you. And BAB was <laughs> in front, and now XM took over, so I'm right. It's all good. Fair enough. If BAB had got the Deso, he'd be cleaning up on kills. He would, he would. He definitely... It's his fault. He messed you up. Like, your prediction should have been right. I, I think it's still technically right if they're tied. I'm not well, I'm certain. Well, XM on my screen is the leader, so... Yeah. <laughs> it probably has something hope. to do with who got the last one or something. Last kill. Tackle and... Damn it! DAB <laughs> going beyond God. Damn it! <laughs> Where are the crits, Erika? Uh. Serpent Ward's committed bottom, and they are going to get this tier 3 tower with uh, no retort coming in from YBB just yet. Ball lightning all the way through, and TP back to base. Backs too. Wow. Fast. She tried to deny it. Be infested. Can you actually... What does the life stealer? He still didn't complete his MKB. He needs a recipe. He's... Come on. He's 500 gold away. Get him out of you. Let him finish off that at least. Seriously. I, he has to have that to fight. It's like... I don't think that it will be... Of much use. And that it will change the game. But it gives you an opportunity at least. Maybe you can kill off the PA. Wouldn't you like to have 30% in this situation? You know? Get a little bit on the side, jump in with Storm, 
get that gold. Would you want to be giving up your 100% of your storm? Like 70? Probably wouldn't. Exactly. I'd rather lose my gold to nothing than give it to my carry. Okay, then maybe like when he's about to infest you, you get the. Do you allow this passenger? Is he wearing a mask? Is it, is, is, you have to pay a fee to infest gold wise. Ooh, going behind, and I believe they found Marcy. ZC's right there, and PAB not gonna get that kill. It's Erica who grabs it with the crit, but you see ZC infested, just trying to leave and not really committing just yet. Holy, finally he TPs out. I, I feel like he was kind of playing with fire there. It did make them go on this long journey towards the top lane. And uh, that was Witchy Gaming Smoke, too. So now that they know where everyone is, Life Stealer can actually farm. Before it was a bit dangerous, that's why they were infested, that's why they were doing, making the move that they were making. Uh, so they, I guess so. Yeah, so they will have an MTB now for the, for the next fight. Fucking <laughs> peace. Thousand net worth lead rush up in 40, so I mean, be I guess they have two options they either contest the next rush or they concede and fight on the high ground. That's gonna be very dangerous to give up the rush like that if they even wait for rush, Richie Gaming, they're, they're just storming the high ground already. Storming the castle. They're in. And they're out. Because they got what they uh, came for already, B Cop. That was quick. Yang even laughs a bit. Not much stopping them at the moment from really getting it done. Unbreaker can go bottom because you have obviously the global potential of just using that star break, uh, that Solar Guardian and getting in. Peachy, they, they don't have to rush, right? They, they just have this massive lead. I don't think MKB, while being a big item to do some damage here to Erica, I don't know if it's really game-changing enough. You're 30k ahead, B Cop. Usually nothing is game-changing enough. Especially yeah. if you're going high ground. Yeah, they're coming into the high ground. They're going to fall lightning to the back lines, but they don't find anything there. They've already lost SJ. There's the Solar Guardian slamming down doesn't land on anybody with the bkb being popped by zc he's not in just yet but the unleash won't matter as they've unleashed his life and kill off this marcy you know just called dg they lost their supports see that it's impossible for them to win and they'll GG. call it <laughs> oh i was correct in the end so was i bab no Ten it's kills. xm 10 kills <laughs> it says it's correct for me everything else is incorrect though i don't know I need to, I need to see a screenshot. I think you're making things up. Yeah, this last last ditch attempt to go high ground. Usually you need smoke. You go with you go there with the smoke, but like this, you can feel the desperation. They knew how far behind they were. They wanted to make a move before Rosh respawned. Uh, right. It backfired.